Hello everyone, welcome to SAP 2000 video tutorial. In this video, we will see how to edit grid lines, how to add grid lines or how to remove grid lines. So, as you can see in these windows, on the right side, we have a 3D view. We can set the view from here or also we can set from here, view toolbars. And then we can set our set 3D view, set 2D view. We can set the views directly from this standard toolbar as you can see here 3d view as it is in 3d view here we can see and then we can set x y view x z y z we can also set these views from our view toolbars we can click here and we can set 3d view we can set 2d view if we want to set 3d view we will click here and edit from here as you can see plan elevation aperture and 3D X Y X Z Y Z. From here we can set the 3D view. We can also set the 2D view, which are available directly here. So we can just click here Y Z plane or X Z plane or X Y plane. So from here, the left window, we can see it is on the X Y plane. So we want to add or remove grid lines. As you can see at the right, here we have three bay in the X direction, like. This is first bay, this is second bay, and this is third bay. And in the y direction, we have two bay, one bay and two bay. In the z direction, we have two grid lines, like we have one grid from here and another grid here. So suppose I want to remove in the z direction. So I want just only one floor. So what we'll do, we'll come here and we'll click right button on the structure. Here, as you can see, edit grid data, we'll click here and you will see in the global system we will modify the grid lines so we'll click here so here is the window from here we can modify our grid lines so as i said in the z direction i want only one floor so i will remove one grid line so as you can see here is the x grid data it is y grid and this one is z grid data so uh, this one is from the bottom, I mean 0, then Z2, the first floor, and the Z3, this is the second floor. So I will delete the Z3 from here, delete, and then I will click OK, then OK. So, boom, as you can see, one floor has been removed. In the same way, we can also add any room in the X direction. So, in the same way, we will right click on the structure we'll click edit grid data click modify and then we are going to remove from x direction like we want only two bay in the x direction so we'll click here in the d so this is a a is the base i mean starting point we'll cancel the d or remove so we'll select d and we'll click on the delete so you can see also from here so it must change it will appear here this way you will understand is is it working or not so i will click ok and then also ok boom as you can see one bay has been removed so maybe i want to add another bay in the y direction so i will click on the structure edit grid data edit modify and i will come here three and i will add so it is added and i'll click ok then also ok so as you can see in the y direction another bay has been added so in this way we can edit or add or remove any grid lines now i can also add some extra information like this is the starting point i mean this is the zero zero point so we have a proper distance from one to two so i maybe i want to add a grid in a specific distance from this point so in this case what we can do once again we will click right edit grid data modify so we are going to add a new grid in the y direction and it will be a specific distance from this point from the one point so in the y direction we will add a grid we can just click on the add button and then we can edit that grid line so maybe we want that in the middle of the one and two so from as you can see here one and two 
we have a distance in millimeter 7315.2 so maybe we won't have of this so we will calculate and then we will input it here adding now in 3000 millimeter distance so it will be added i'll click ok and then also ok so as you can see here the five number grid line has been added from one to five the distance is 3000 millimeter we can also check it out from the same place as you can see here from one to five the distance is 3000 millimeter in this way we can also add to the x direction any kind of grids like we want a grid in between b and c so we have a proper distance from a to b and also b to c so we will add a grid line into b and c we will click on the structure edit grid modify in the x direction we are going to add a new grid between b and c we can see that from a to b is the distance 7315.2 in millimeter and the same distance from b to c so we will add another grid and we will modify this one and that will be in between b and c so the value will be like 10,000 around 10,000 so I will write it here 10,000 I'll click here as you can see it has been added between b and c here is the d grid line I will click ok and then also ok so boom as you can see here is another grid line added between b and c so in, in this way we can edit our grid lines we can add we can remove whatever we want we can do so I hope in this video helped a lot thanks for watching we'll see you in the next time take care